Dear students, in this unit we will talk about the life cycle of clay mydomonas. As you are aware that clay mydomonas is one of the simplest form of algae. Clay mydomonas belongs to genus biflagellated single-celled green algae and it's one of the most primitive eukaryotic organisms. It does not have a well-defined cell wall made up of cellulose, rather it has a cell wall made up of glycoprotein and non-cellulosic polysaccharides. Most species of Clamidomonas, they are obligate photoautotrophs, means with the help of sunlight, they synthesize their own food. They roam freely in the water and with the help of sunlight, they synthesize their own food. But some of its species, they are facultative heterotrophs. Facultative heterotrophs means whenever there is no sunlight or they are placed in the dark, they have the ability to survive by ingesting some food particles which are floating in the water. Now, when we talk about the structure of Clamidomonas, as you can see here, it's an oval-shaped green algae and it has two flagella which are present on the interior side. These flagella helps it move from one place to the other inside the water. Now, when we talk about the reproduction, Clamidomonas can reproduce both sexually and asexually. And then it produces zoospore when it reproduces uh, asexually. And it produces zygote when it produces sexually. When we talk about the life cycle of Clamidomonas, it can reproduce both asexually as well as it shows sexual reproductions. So what happens? that the vegetative cells of Clamidomonas, when it has to undergo asexual reproduction, it withdraws its flagella and it forms a coat outside its surface and then it starts dividing by mitosis. As a result of mitosis, multiple zoospores are produced. And after maturing, these zoospores, they break the coat and they are freed in the water. Now during sexual reproductions, what happens that two different types of gametes, we can call one gamete as negative gamete and the other one as a positive gamete. These two gametes, they combine, they fuse with each other and form a zygote after the process of fertilizations. This zygote then undergoes meiosis and after meiosis, we see four haploid gametes are produced. And those gametes, half of the gametes are positive and half of the gametes are negative. And those gametes then they mature to become a complete clamidomonas organism.